Welcome back to the channel. All right, so we're going to go over AMD's 9000 series CPUs and how they are absolutely selling like hotcakes and also other issues that are not quite as good. That does not look good. So let's go over some of the comments about how these AMD 9000 series CPUs are blowing up. So, now we got some new comments coming in right now. So, uh, let's go over the top of the comments right now. Definitely a thing that should get investigated, maybe by some kind of third party, uh, like Gamers Nexus. Because sure, CPUs sound like hotcakes. Yeah, they sure are sound like hotcakes right now. So, there could be enough of them to where it's just normal failure rate. I don't know if it's normal failure rate. This is over way over 200 now known cases of this. And who knows how many people have had this failure rate and not have, you know, reported it. But it's possible this could end up being a bigger issue. It more or less could be a bigger issue. So, hopefully, that is not the case. But uh, I think it is a bigger issue. We saw some companies in the past to drop quality control, uh, lower to increase production and meet more demand. Right now, Intel isn't competitive, so there's a hell of a lot of pressure on AMD and TSMC to make as many as possible. Also, it could be ASRock issue or ASRock just happens to have issue with Expose's underlying problem. I really wish GN or someone as competent would investigate uh, and give us details since AMD or board partners will just give us vague answers at best. And that is very true. They are just giving vague answers. All right, so that was by Seth. Now we're going to go to Zod777 here. Cue the AMD fanboys. Everything possible to defend AMD. The vast majority of failured uh, Raptor Lake i9s were on ASUS boards. Very true. ASUS was putting way too much voltages into stock i9s or stock Intel CPUs at the time. And technically currently are still if you're not manually tuning it, your voltages are way higher than what they need to be on a zeus boards with few on gigabyte and zero on msi or asrock i'm not sure if that is true i do believe they use a little bit too much voltage as well but not even close to being as much as a sus uh, but that was all intel's fault but if amd cpus go pop there's no chance it could be on amd and yeah, I guess uh, it's probably an AMD thing. It's not really a manu ma motherboard manufacturer issue that we know of right now. Again, ASRock, as soon as this came out, got the board from a person that actually had this happen and cleaned up the board and the board was working to specs. So I'm not sure uh, how it could be a, a, a motherboard manufacturer issue. It will more or less be on AMD side with some sort of bad micro code kind of like what happened to intel i purchased a pre-built pc with a gigabyte b850 gaming x and the 9800x 3d it worked for about 20 minutes then died after a bios update suggested by the gigabyte control center the red led on the motherboard suggests cpu failure that would be the case and if it's just a, a bios update it's more or less not an issue from the motherboard manufacturer as uh, the cases of having a bad BIOS update is very, very, very rare nowadays. They are very strict on how they control their BIOS and do a lot of testing before they even send it out. The lights are just suggestions. If it's a failed BIOS update, I do not recommend running Windows Utilities BIOS updates going wrong. Brex PC and I don't trust a program to handle it. Me too. I would manually update your BIOS. Manually update and go into the motherboard manufacturer's page is the best way to do it. The motherboard more likely failed and can no longer recognize CPU because of incompetent BIOS update. I do not believe that. Uh, unless they did do uh, some sort of third party instead of doing it manually and going to the actual motherboard manufacturer's website to get the BIOS, there could be an actual uh, BIOS brick that is causing the issue. So yes, he is correct about that. Respectfully yours, ASRock motherboards are the issue. Billet comps for a very long time. ASRock always give me problems. Good reply. You can't go wrong with Gigabyte. I gotta agree, I love my Gigabyte boards, especially my Z690 Oris Master has been absolutely amazing for overclocking on. 
honestly not in a way surprised and you shouldn't be the more cpus that are being sold by a company you'll see a higher failure rate since amd was not selling a whole lot of cpus back in the past more or less because they weren't the greatest cpus uh there is issues with having a lot higher failure rate because they're selling a lot more but since this issue is literally blowing up cpu and motherboard we're going back to the 7800x 3d where they started off with that like what happened there well guess what too much voltage and that's a lot of voltage to be causing those kind of issues so a less than 1% failure rate, this is going to be a long-running issue if someone doesn't make it a priority. Exactly, a 1% failure rate is not good. Not good at all. Uh, that is quite high in the CPU industry when you got a 1% uh, failure rate. And that's it for the comments. Uh, we got some people commenting right now, but uh, you know they're taking their sweet time. They're probably AMD fanboys trying to... Uh, make sure AMD looks good while uh, AMD CPUs are failing on multiple different motherboards, not just ASRock. A um, majority of them are on ASRock boards, and one of the issues is ASRock sells cheap motherboards. Their motherboards are not all that expensive compared to ASUS or even some of the Gigabyte boards. So a ASRock will sell a lot more motherboards than other vendors due to the fact people are buying budget PCs or building budget PCs, and there's a lot more budget PCs out there than high-end ones. And that's it. That's it for this uh, little segment on uh, the new 9000 series CPUs and how they're blowing up on motherboards and how there's no real cause or issue to it. And AMD is not coming out and saying anything about it yet. Uh, maybe they're taking their time so that way they don't say something like Intel did back uh, when the uh, i9 13900K and 14900Ks were causing issues to people. Again, that was also an issue to motherboard manufacturers and also RAM manufacturers. If you look on Intel's page and check out the actual requirements or the actual specs on recommended or maximum amount of uh, memory speed allowed, you would see that, that your RAM kits are way above their specs. That is one of the issues, and a lot of people do not say this, and they should. Uh, that's it, though. Again, thank you all for watching. Again, uh, thank you to all my viewers, subscribers, and donators. Channels just blowing up again. Uh, again, thank you very much. It's been absolutely amazing to see that the community is going large. If you're not part of the Discord channel, you should definitely take a look at. If you're not part of the Patreon page or uh, if you have not checked out the Patreon page, definitely take a look at that as well. And uh, as always, don't forget to get her done.